Wow, that's quite some effort. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, with that thought in mind, guys, it almost looked like the guy was wearing thermal underwear. Yeah, yeah it, mm -hmm. it did. And yeah. if it had been cold, maybe he could have got away with it. And it was chilly enough today. I was up in the hills uh, for a little while this afternoon. I had to put on two coats because of the combination of temperature readings in the 40s and the wind that was blowing. Yeah, so if you're going out there for a jog this evening, just know the temperature readings are going to be right around the 40s range, and it's still going to be breezy this evening. At 6 p.m., it's going to be about 48 degrees. There will be sunshine. There may be some clouds, and there may be a little isolated shower. I know that's not going to hold back the hardcore runners, but things will begin to settle down and I think once the sun sets, all these showers are pretty much that are just kind of scattered around. We'll go to bed for the night. For example, watch this time lapse video. You'll see the sunshine, right? What does the sun do? It heats the ground. What does the ground do? It releases the heat into the atmosphere. That causes the clouds to start forming. That causes some of those showers to start popping up. And so this is the way it's going to be, I'd say, for the next couple of hours. There's little hit and miss pockets of showers, especially in and around the foothills and the mountains. Not so much in the Treasure Valley, but still I can't rule out a little passing shower here and there this evening. So weather headlines are looking like this. We're going to be seeing some big changes going into the pattern next week. For right now, breezy and chilly tonight. Partly cloudy and still a bit on the breezy side for the first half of the day tomorrow. Warmer conditions are expected this weekend with highs bumping back up into the 60s. And then here's what I draw your attention to. Much warmer conditions next week. We're talking about the possibility of temperatures that could be pushing back into the upper 70s and possibly near 80 degrees by the middle of the week. I'll show you why in just a second. 49 degrees outside right now. Wind is northwest at 16 miles per hour, so it feels like it's 43 degrees out there. The high temperature today, 49 degrees. There's the average, 66. 17 degrees colder than average. What is the record for this time of the year? The record high is 92 degrees set back in 1987. It is that kind of temperature range, low to mid 90s, where we can go given the right scenario. We're going to be teasing temperatures near 80 degrees by the middle of next week, and this is how it's all going to evolve. First of all, that northwesterly flow is going to give us partly cloudy, breezy conditions tomorrow. Temperatures are still going to be in the mid 50s, but it should be a fairly nice day. You'll start to feel, okay, we're finally starting to get out of this cold snap. Then on Saturday and Sunday, what happens? High pressure starts to build in along the West Coast. That'll give us lots of sunshine on Saturday. We'll call it sunny and warmer conditions on Saturday. Maybe a few clouds coming in from the Northwest late Sunday. But here's what really gets my attention. The high pressure next week, all the computer models are suggesting is going to build. It's going to get bigger. It's going to push all the way up into Canada. That means we could say goodbye to the jet stream. That means that we will see lots of sunshine next week. And this is what's going to start driving our temperatures up into the upper 70s and possibly near 80 degrees by the middle of next week. So tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. But you can see that flow still coming in out of the northwest. Looks like a fairly nice day, maybe a couple of spotty mountain showers. And then here's what happens on Saturday. Notice the dry air. That is the leading edge of the high pressure ridge that starts to move into the area. So here's my seven day forecast and for the Treasure Valley. Temperature readings tomorrow, mid 50s, still cooler than the average. That's 10 degrees colder than normal. But with the sunshine and the winds tapering off late in the afternoon, it should begin to feel a little nicer. On Saturday, sunny skies and warmer conditions with a high of 61. Sunday, we'll see a few more clouds around, but it's going to be dry and it will be pleasant on Sunday with temperature readings in the mid 60s. Then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, that is a dry stretch of weather. Look at the temperatures responding to the high pressure amplifying and getting bigger on the West Coast. We could see temperatures mid 70s to near 80 degrees by Wednesday and Thursday. I think it's going to be an epic week next week. We're all catch a little bit of spring fever with those temperature readings, but now we're going to start watching what happens with the snowpack because it'll start responding to temperature readings approaching 80 degrees by the middle of next week. Is that too fast of a warm up? No, it's not too fast, but okay. if we hit 90s, you know, if we keep it right around upper 70s near 80 degrees, there will be an increase in many streams and rivers, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. If, it, if we punch into the 90s, that would be scary, but I don't see that happening. Okay. okay.